All right, so good afternoon, good morning, and good evening to each and everyone to you who is currently watching at my video pre on this video presentation. So today we are being tasked to be critiquing an artwork. Before I start, my name is Mr. Vicente Milon Kisay Jr., a BS Ed uh, English one at uh, North Shatton Campus, and um, currently enrolled uh, in the subject of art appreciation or GE6. Section B. Okay, so here are the steps in describing an artwork. So I will be describing the artwork first. So uh, I have chosen the Espana e Filipinas painting by the amazing Juan Luna de San Pedro and Aviso and Cheta or Anqueta. So also known as Juan or also known as General Juan Luna. So uh, so this masterpiece was created in the 1886 and still lies today at the Lopez Memorial Museum. <clears throat> so it's over a hundred plus years old. So the medium of, of this painting is uh, oil canvas, oil on canvas. It's sized, um, it's sized 229.5 times 79.5 centimeters or 79.5 centimeters or I must say 229.5 by uh, 79.5 centimeters so that explains why the portrait is long as you can see so the painting shows two women with their backs to the viewers no um, one of one is white skinned wearing a red or I think that's dark pink and uh, dark, pink, dark pink gown with laurel wrath in the head, which is, symbolizes victory. No, uh, let me draw a little. This is the what what I have stated that it's a laurel wrath in her head, which symbolizes uh, victory. As you can see, she is pointing into something. No, as you can see in the sun. She is pointing into something. I really don't know where where she is pointing, but but it's so far away. Uh, she looks towards, or the other one beside her is uh, having a brown skin. No, as you can see, uh, she is having a brown skin and brown skin, uh, and probably wearing a common dress. Wait, why is it common, Jr. Because this uh, gown is. We can see this one in the uh, one of the celebration or one one of our celebration which is the buwan ng wika so this is this been this has been considered as the filipiniana attire or filipiniana gown okay so um they are also uh, she looks towards where the other woman is pointing to so this this girl this girl is or this woman is pointing or watching or looking Towards the uh, long gown women into uh, pointing something, no? As you can see. Okay, so with the beautiful fresh flowers, no? They are in the stairs with beautiful flowers. Flowers, I'm sorry. I think this also this also can be considered as petals. I think uh, there are also petals here, petals here. This and uh, this can also be considered as fresh because as you can see in the um in the color no that these are really fresh. Okay, so let me erase it first for you to be um to for you to observe the things that I am discussing. Okay. So next is I will be analyzing this artwork, no? The painting shows bright colors with the contrast of light. Although I can't seem find their shadows from the two women, but the shadows of the stairs are present as you can see at the bottom of the painting as like dark shadows of the stairs. So this I can consider this one also can is the bottom or the the dark darker color than the other side. I can consider that one as the shadow, no? Uh, there are also lines present in this painting, no? There are also lines, no? Look at the lines. I let, let, let me um, rephrase it. No, there are also shadows here down. No, there are also lines. So the thing that I am discussing now is analyzing the artwork. No, there are lots of lines here. The the dresses. No, uh, as you can see, 
the artist created enough space in the room and the artist textures from the clothes and flowers from the no you can see it's a, it's a very nice artwork no so all in all painting shows a realistic scene what is realistic scene because i can consider this scene or this artwork it really can reflect everyone no you can you can know the story when when you say when you can see this picture you can you really know the story that someone is letting someone to be lead to something or in anywhere no okay so next is i will be interpreting uh the artwork of Juan luna so my interpretation of this so i mean this painting is from the two women but the so no although i can see no i'm sorry i'm sorry so i mean this painting is one of the most famous painting in our country no like it's it's even thought in the seventh grade, no? Um, if you remember, so it's nearly impossible not to know the meaning of España y Filipinas, no? Be because España means Spain and Filipina means, uh, Filipinas means the Philippines. I mean, even just the name itself. So, the skinned woman is a Spaniard, the one that wearing a, uh, a brown dress, the uh, brown dress, I'm sorry, the pink uh, dress and then uh, the white-skinned woman is a Spaniard and and drawn with a white strong shoulder soldier soul shoulder shoulder I'm sorry uh, the white-skinned woman is a Spaniard and drawn with white strong shoulder while the dark-skinned woman is a Filipina and was illustrated as a graceful no so both are wearing the tra traje de mestiza or the dress of the mestiza so Spain is representation of a benevolent image of colonialism. It is pointing ahead and guiding a humbly dressed Philippines to the right way. So overall, they are heading towards a far away horizon while embarking on the steps of a staircase with flowers. So in charge, Spain was shown to be leading the Philippines, uh, leading to the Philippines in the path to progress and uh, progress and development no for me that's the short description of it so so although the painting shows the pain no okay because we, we we don't know or we we are not in that moment to to witness the things or the happenings in that moment so in the philippines like in peace together but for sure there are lots of going on that time like wars abuse of uh, abuse of powers killings religions and etc we don't really don't uh, we, we don't really know but if we can go back time then i can tell you so juan luna is very different uh, a little bit just a little trivia juan luna is very different from dr jose rizal which was our revolutionist and would go against spain and that time that's why he was killed okay so when juan, when juan luna was said hispanophile or hispanophile or a person who could never go against Spain. He is also a, he is considered as pro Spain in that time. So the next step I will be evaluating the uh, image or the portrait. So I think the author or the painter of this um, artwork is really using a mimetic approach because uh, it delivers a message, no? Even if you can see the the image itself or the portrait itself or the artwork itself you can really know the message about about this um artwork because making an artwork you can really have or you must have a a, a good reason why you paint this or why you made this artwork no the painting revealed the true hope and desire of Filipino with Spain on reform, equality, modernization, and economic improvement. No, so I hope you you get some lessons about the explanations I have. So there, here are my references about my um, artwork. So I get the some of the information in in Google, of course, and here are my references. Um, about the an art appreciation of Ronalyn del Rosario, uh, uh, from July or in July twenty fifth, twenty sixteen. So I al also inputted here the um, URL, as you can see. Uh, you can also click here what this or in here 
for you to be uh, guided enough. Okay. Again, ag again, guys, this, this is uh, your Kuya JR, your big brother at Norso Shaton Campus. Thank you and bye.